Welcome back in the Rogers Rams 12 and one. They are now number two in Ohio and right now they are dominating everyone they play. The Rams have won their last six games by an average of 27 points per game tonight. They were off at Woodward off a missed free throw here. Polar Bears would take possession, but Jemiah Neal takes it right back. And then watch this dunk number one and then more from the Rams. Deshaun Nelson absolutely attacking the rim here. He will not be denied posterizing somebody. Oh my goodness. Everybody in the gym loving this one. And then how about one more from Nelson? He gets a steal, gets the ball, and yes, you know what comes next. Deshaun Nelson putting on a show. Rams roll past Woodward 67-38. Rossford in first place in the NBC, 7-0. They get in the new gym next week. Tonight playing Blake over at Owens. Bulldogs moving at a rapid pace. Cameron Gaston catches the pass, shows off some great balance, stays in bounds, and takes it himself to the basket for the quick score. And then Ethan DeWeese comes down for the rebound for Rossford. He's it up ahead to the other end. Gaston is right there, tips it to Ben Morrison. Sweet play there for the easy layup. Bulldogs looking right at home against the Flyers. They would go on to get the win at 73-23. Battle for second place in the NBC. Faustoria a game behind Rossford. Eastwood two games back. Eagles on the road in this one in the red. Jacob Meyer going to the basket. Gets a really tough contested layup to go off glass for two. Later for the Redmen. Of Andre Reed passes down low to a cutting Jonathan Banks. He gets the basket to go in traffic. But the Eagles too much down the stretch. Meyer again inside. First layup is no good, but recollects, puts it back. Eastwood picks up a big win in the NBC. They beat Faustoria 68-54. Last stop in the Northern Buckeye. Woodmore on the road taking the trip to Elmwood. Royals on offense in this one. Caleb Plout kicks it to the baseline for Kobe Shank. He sinks a baseline jumper there for two. Wildcats now, Paul Cannon kicks it to Ethan McNair. He doesn't hesitate, knocks down the three ball with the Royals. Too much in this one. Again, it's Shank down low. Elmwood would get a, win a close one, 44 to 41. To the NWOAL, good one here. Brian and Archibald, two of the top teams in the league. Start of the second half, and Brian's Connor Arth swipes the inbounds pass. He would take it the other way, and he would make a sweet move there and lay it up and in. And later, some nice passing from the Blue Streak offense. DJ Newman wide open for three. Brian falling behind. Bears get some life early in the fourth, but Archbold would strike right back with some nice passing. DJ Newman here, Archbold wins it 43 to 27. We aren't giving Evergreen nearly enough love. They are 10 and one tonight. The Vikings home with Delta Evergreen showing why they have a record like that. A big lead into the fourth quarter, Evan Lumbrezer. In the corner, drives, pulls up, hits a mid-range jumper. He wasn't done. Great on defense, knocks it loose, headed the other way, lays it up and in on the other end. Right there. Delta would try to get something going, but Lumbrazer would step in front of another pass, and it's another bucket. Big night for Evergreen. They win at 63-25. Wauseon having a good year. They have won three straight. Indians home tonight, welcoming in Liberty Center. First quarter of this one. Wauseon down by five. and. Some nice passing from the Indians offense. That senior, Sean Brock. The ball down low, finishes with the easy lay-in. Later, Liberty Center's Aaron Schaefer finds Trent Murdoch underneath the basket with a bounce pass. He steps and gets a jumper to go for two. And then the Tigers with the firepower. Camden Krug nails one from behind the arc. Indians looking for more when Jonas Tester misses from inside the paint, but Brock would clean it up. Wauseon wins 43-19. To the Tech, Cardinal Stritch having a great year. They are 5-0 in the league. Cardinals home with Emmanuel Christian. First quarter of this one, great passing by Stritch. Work it to Dwayne Moorhead Jr. Bucket and a foul, he had 12 in the game. But Emmanuel Christian has something going over there with Lionel Armstead building this thing up. That's Daylon Coley with a lay-in. But Stritch, the class of the league right now. Justin Wiggins here from the corner, knocks down a three. Cardinal Stritch wins 65-47. Also in the Tech, Cardinal Stritch having that great year. This is actually the Toledo Christian highlights. They were taking on Maumee Valley tonight. There's a knockdown three for the Hawks. On the other end, the Eagles looking really good. Lay up and in right there. And then Cole McWinney here knocks down a three. Toledo Christian would go on to get the win. All right, timeout for another break. When we come back, we've got the walleye highlights right after this. Stick with us.